Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is POCO X3 custom ROM reviews back to my channel back to new video guys after a long time we are coming back again and this is the Evolution X based on Android 13 yes and it's a 7.3 version latest available build for POCO X3 slash NFC and number 5th security patch and the kernel user is 4.14.290 is the kernel use and build date you can see November 21 it's a latest build available for POCO X and Linux status is enforcing this how the ROM details and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 10 minutes and 30 seconds and 6 milliseconds this is a 200 thread test guys and you can see the maximum is 191 and average is 170 and minimum is 131 million JFS there is a little bit of throttling yellow lines and the minimum is in the yellow it doesn't matter it's because i kept the background apps in the background i mean some of the apps in the background hence these were these results i don't believe in this app results it's for you i generally use the smartphone for couple of hours and decide how is the rom and everything i'll be checking out here you can check out Moving to dialer, you get Google dialer here and you can see direct video call feature is available here. No need to worry regarding that. And there is a call recording feature also, but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call. That's how it is. And this is a quick settings panel as usual as any Android 13 years PROMs. And in the edit sections, you get some of the options you can see. Not some, lot more available. If you want, you can drag from them. And it's smooth it definitely it's not laggy or anything like that as you can see and this Android 13 features are still available home settings there's a pixel launcher pre-installed here version 13 and previously I said this is a very good ROM available for POCO X3 slash NFC I mean this particular device because the stability of the UI is very very good as you can see if anyone using it from Android 13 where it was 7.0 let me know in the comment section guys this is one of the best ROM available for POCO X as of now if you want you can change the wallpapers from here and all the widgets and 13 widgets are working fine no problem regarding that as you can see if I can change this black wallpaper it gets changed and these themed icons are also going to be changed if you change it and let me apply and show you the dark theme these simple things are really important for me as you can see now everything is in pitch black condition even the wallpaper and the widget and even the search bar and even the quick settings panel is in pure pitch black condition and the settings panel is also very much in the pitch, I mean pitch black condition in order to get that go to evolver and go to themes and select here dark theme and in that you need to select this vivid monet in the custom theme then only this could be achievable if you keep some other things i don't know if some other like some other options they can use that but for me it's vivid monet settings hence it's usable in the dark mode and it's in pitch black condition in front you can change as i said before and you need to change this only once it applied in dark mode and then i went into evolver let's see headline body font you get plenty of fonts here if want you can change them I can pack and the signal icon wi Wi-Fi icon style I can shape also you can customize here and navigation bar style I don't think so anyone uses navigation bar I use this gestures here and gesture bar length should be visible enough that's fine in this particular ROM and notifications you get again same and quick settings you get similar uh, customization you can keep your circle you can customize the quick settings and even the status bar settings from here and power menu again it's simple enough advanced restart button if you want you can enable from here and gestures as I shown before you get this kind of option system gesture into system navigation gesture navigation there is option to increase the pill length and also the radius wow how beautiful it is if you want you can play around this and you can make it out how much radius you need and how much pill length you need i like this one let me know in the comment section what you guys use the three button two button or the gesture navigation let me know in the comment section guys and one handed mode which is working fine as you can see all the gestures are working fine double tap is also working fine 
swipe to three finger screenshot is also working fine the basic things are always better in this particular rom and the important things like the dark theme and the gesture bar length those are always very good in the particular rom and lock screen customization you get ripple effect and authentication and error vibration settings animations again you get plenty of animations customization here too you won't notice any drastic difference but there are customization in order to change the animation in this particular rom buttons again you can assign some of the options here reorientation volume rocker wave click to partial screenshot some of the customization here also present and in the main slainous settings this is very important i always keep on telling this you can see launch music app and headset connection this is new thing added it's going to be a very good option if you want to always listen the music in any particular app then you can assign from here and game space this is simple thing you can disable auto brightness screenshot usb debugging from here it will be helpful if you don't know whether the rom is by default debugging is enabled or not just enable this and play some of the games like pubg new Street. it won't be able to playable once if it is i mean the uh, usb debugging is enabled then you can manually turn off here and unlimited photo storage in google you need to enable here and same in the fps in games like bgmr pubg mobile you need to enable this high fps and netflix netflix spoof is also have been added new thing if you guys use it you can definitely use that and jitter and some of the configuration something has been added and one more thing i have noticed in the network and internet and you can see here private dns there is a cloudflare dns is also added if you guys don't know this you can use that there are like ad god dns the two dns services are been added previously we just get off automatic and private dns here you get those two if you guys want to check that you can definitely try to turn all the connectivity issues are gone i don't have any issues here the call quality is fine and the earpiece quality is also fine and the loudspeakers both are fine enough and signal reception is fine 4g plus is working fine and i have wi-fi 100 mps connection here geo fiber it's pulling up to 90 to 95 you can see on the screen that's also working fine no problem regarding that you can definitely use it as a daily driver and if you want to update from previous version definitely you can update this version it's better than previous version obviously you will get the latest november security patch in the next upcoming december you will also get the i mean the very next 15 days you'll get the other new build here and good thing about this particular rom is you get a anx camera i mean the mui camera pre-installed i mean given in the rom directly no need to flash separately if you are looking for that kind of rom and this is the one you can use that as you can see i told this rom is going to be great rom for poco x in the previous i again stay with the same it's really very good all the features are working fine if you want to use you can use any gcam ports also that's also possible with this particular rom and the good thing is they have added the uh, mio camera i mean the nx camera pre-installed and if we let's say the benchmark is starting with the android benchmark you can see 362657 and temperature raise was just 0.8 degrees celsius and two percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing this is very good score in my opinion for a snapdragon 732g powered poco x c slash nfc now other benchmark results like geekbench you can also judge the app opening time here and you can see the single score performance is pretty good 560 and multi score is 1661 and kernel as i said before for linux 4.14.290 has been used here the performance of this rom is really good and it's carried out very good in this update the 7.3 i hope so the 7.4 also carry the same and remains the same if not bad that's good actually and if i'm radio basic things like google pay if you want to use you can use it out because of safety net status let me check here it will get passed and drm information is also level one certification let's move into some gameplay here already tried to play bgmi and also the apex legends but definitely guys this is k50 and the experience what we get i mean apex legends or the pubg new state definitely it's going to be different compared to this smartphone and this smartphone you guys can see here the graphics is set to smooth plus 90 fps that you need to enable in the miscellaneous settings as i shown in the 
previous of this video you can check out from start and i will not going to show any settings here i mean the other settings you can watch my previous video and you can see here it's very very smooth either you play a game or watch a video and use this control center or the quick settings panel it's very very smooth enough that's not the case in some of the other roms you can check out guys i always check those things because i need to use it as a daily driver then it will be checked in every aspect then you can make a review like that my policy is you need to check for everything even if it is early also i will check everything in detail and you can see here and increase the volume here i disabled the audio of sfx you can see here it's quite a loud here the dual stereo speakers on the poco x are definitely helping and one more thing i want to make clear you can't expect the gaming of apex legends on this k50i or any high-end smartphones it will not be the same you get in the poco x and hence you need to adjust the graphic settings and play the games because it's a demanding game the apex Legends and the genshin impact is definitely not going to be a very good experience in this poco xe but still you can play in the low settings and like this games the bgm pubg mobile it will not get you warm hours hours and hours you can play this game but keep in mind also take a break in between and you guys can see and the gyroscope response is also very good i haven't turned it on but i definitely tried it and you guys can see hope so you guys can get a idea how it handles the gameplay heating issue i haven't faced it currently we are seeing some winter season here in india but it depends guys if you're using nfc variant you are weather conditions may be different from here but still you can have it out and if you want to run a little bit cooler you can drop down the settings to extreme and play you still get the very good ex experience if not the better of course he is a bot i will come back here and let me show you charging animation and charging speeds that's also very important for any daily driving rom you can see here this is one thing i am seeing here it is showing charging slowly that's the one thing they have missed adding in this particular update you guys can see here it's still showing charging slowly only you can read the mh and percentage and here fingerprint unlock you guys can see here it's also quite a fast here as you can see it's getting unlocked very fast and even the face unlock as you can see okay it's getting unlocked it's as quick as MIUI ROMs here it's getting unlocked and uh, hope so you like the video and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel let that subscribe guys many people are watching my videos but not subscribing my channel this is going to be a very good rom available for poco x slash nfc again and again i am telling all the basic things are working fine even the earphone headphone jack quality is fine here you get direct sound settings let me show that again as you can see you get all the options here just the hi-fi audio is missing here but apart from that everything is working fine the rom is very very stable you won't face any problems the battery life is also going to be very good in this particular rom you need to use it at least for three days then you can judge the actual battery life in this particular rom hope you like the video if you like it give it a like and we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now